For the past few weeks, I've been selling my weekly drop items to build up my Steam balance for this video. And by the end of today, I'll have a free knife just by doing profitable trade-ups. There are tons of videos out there showing you how to get a free knife, and I've even done some in the past myself, but I promise you there are none that incorporate all of this new information that I found. These new discoveries make finding low float skins easier than ever, so if you want to get your own free knife or just build up your Steam balance, stick around to the very end because by the end of this video, you'll be able to do this for yourself. Also, I'm giving away this Stat Track Factory new Ursus Knife Tiger Tooth when we hit 50,000 subscribers. If you'd like to enter for a chance to win, check out the community post. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Now, let's get this knife. People are always asking me what the best marketplace is to buy and sell their skins on. Look no further because the answer is today's sponsor, GamerPay. GamerPay is the best peer-to-peer -peer skin trading website out there, and to prove it to you, they're even offering you a free 5 euros on your first 50 euro transaction. One cool feature they have is, on top of showing the GamerPay listing price, they also display the cheapest buff listing price for the item you're looking at so you can see how much of a discount you're actually getting. They also have a 0% buying fee and only a small 3% selling fee. So if you're looking for better prices than buff and 5 euros for free, sign up with my link in the description today. The first step to getting a free knife and the most difficult part about doing profitable trade-ups in general is finding low float inputs at market price. There are three main methods that I recommend using to get low float inputs. The first one of the three and the best one in my opinion is Steam Buy Orders. Now before I show you all of the newly discovered information that makes buy orders way easier and also makes them produce way more low float inputs than in the past, let me show you today's first trade-up so I can better explain. Today's first trade-up consists of 10 Stat Track Minimal Wear Mill spec skins from the Dreams and Nightmares case below a .0921 average float. As of right now, this trade-up costs around $2.60 total. This trade-up has a 134.23% profitability after Steam fees, and the two best outcomes are the M4A1S and USPS, each sitting at around $3 of profit. As you can see, in the Dreams and Nightmares collection, there are seven different mil spec skins that could be used for this trade-up. In the past, the advice I and other trade-up YouTubers would give for buy orders would be to place them on the skins with the lowest buy order prices and to hope for the the best results. It was almost like a shot in the dark. There was never any way of estimating how many of the skins you'd get from the buy orders would actually have usable floats. This would oftentimes lead to people getting so many bad floats that even if they hit a profit outcome from the trade-up, they'd still lose money overall due to the fees from selling back all of the bad floats. Now the game has changed. The people over at CSROI recently released a new feature to their website which automatically calculates the float distributions for any weapon you're curious about. Let me show you what I mean. First, head over to CSROI com. From here, search for the name of the case or collection you're curious about. In this case, we're looking at the Dreams and Nightmares skins. Click on it, then click Item and Float Drop Chances. Now select the rarity, which for us will be Millspec, then simply click any of the skins. As you can see, there is now a float distribution graph on the screen. I'm not going to go super in-depth on the math behind each of these graphs because the goal today is just to show you how to get low float inputs as easily as possible. Next, click on the wear range you're curious about. In this case, we're concerned about minimal wear only. Now that we've isolated the minimal wear float range, we can simply type in the float we're aiming for into the average float box. Then click Find Average Float. This will auto-populate statistics into the rest of the boxes. Without nerding out and describing what every number on the screen means, let me just explain the numbers you have to worry about. Since we input an average float of 0 .0921, it auto-populates the min and max float boxes to 0 .07 and 0 .124. If you take a look at this number right here, it says 72.41%. This means that 72.41% of minimal wear poultry geists are between 0 .07 and 0 .124 float. Or in other words, on average, 72.41% for 1% of minimal wear poultry guys will have an average float of 0 0.0921. This is exactly what we care about when setting buy orders. Of course, these statistics are based on unboxing numbers, so we can't directly assume that this is one-to-one -one with buy orders, but it's a good approximation and a better estimation than anything we've ever had before. Now, before placing the buy orders, you just repeat the steps for each of the six other mil spec skins to find out their percentages for an average float of 0 0.0921. I'll show all seven of those numbers on screen now. As you can see, the foresight has the highest percentage of skins with an average float of 0 0.0921. Now, if we take a look back at the Steam listings, we can actually see that the buy order price for the Foresight is 26 cents, but the cheapest one is actually the P2000 Lifted Spirits at 25 cents. From an unknowing standpoint and what was suggested in the past, I would have recommended setting buy orders on the Lifted Spirits because it's cheaper. But now that we know only 34% of minimal wear Lifted Spirits have an average float of 0 0.0921, I would recommend never setting a buy order on them. Instead, it's way less risky to set up buy orders on the Mag7 Foresight since 79% of them should have a 0 0.0921 average float. Setting a buy order on Steam is as simple as going to the Steam market, 
searching for the skin you want, click it, scroll down, click place buy order, set the price and number of skins you want, and place the order. On top of having an estimate for how many usable floats we'll get, this also makes it possible to calculate what the average profitability of this trade-up is even after selling back the bad floats. Since 79.44% of foresights would theoretically come out with usable floats, this means that it would take 13 buy orders to get 10 usable ones on average, meaning we'd have to sell back three. The current market price for Mag7 foresights is 27 cents. If we sell back the three bad floats at that price, that would leave us with 24 cents each after steam fees. And since we got them at a buy order price, of 26 cents, that would be a 2 cent loss per bad float, or an average loss of 6 cents per complete trade up. So, if we update the numbers on trade ups by, by adding an extra 6 cents to the cost, that makes this trade up cost $2.66 total, and it now still has an insane profitability of 131.2% after steam fees with a 40% chance to profit each time. The M4A1S and USPS are still the most profitable outcomes, each making us about $3. Now that we figured out how to properly use buy orders and we got a bunch of low float inputs, we can do some of these trade-ups. All right, boys, this is our first trade-up of many on the journey to the free knife. Currently, the cheapest knife on the Steam market is sitting at around $103, so that's the goal for today. But obviously, the more we get, the better, because those cheaper knives aren't the best looking. So let's see if we can start it off with a bang today. Show us the USPS or the M4A1S right now. Three, two, one, boom! Oh, uh, not the best. Not the worst. Trade of number two, show us something better this time around. Three, two, one, boom. Let's go, baby. That's what we want to see. And we have a bunch more of these to go. So I'm going to start spamming them out right now. Let's go. Again? Another one? That's insane. That was four USPs in a row. Can we see another? Three, two, one, boom. First M4. Let's go. Last trade up for these guys. We had some pretty decent luck so far. What's it going to be? Three, two, one, boom. Let's go, baby. The best outcome on the final click. Let's go. The second method for finding low float inputs at market price is sniping skins on Steam. To be honest, this is probably the least effective method of the three and the only one that there isn't much new helpful information about, but it wouldn't be a complete guide video if I didn't show you every possible method. Sniping skins is essentially scouring the Steam market for listings with the correct floats you're looking for and buying them before anyone else does. Before I show you how to do it, let me show you today's second trade up. Today's second trade up consists of 10 stat track minimal wear restricted skins from the fracture case below a 0.0933 average float. As of right now, this trade-up costs around $15.40 total and has a 113.9% profitability after steam fees with a 100% chance to profit each time. All three outcomes are profitable with the best being the StatTrack Factory new Glock 18 Vogue for around $5 of profit. In order to properly snipe skins on steam, you have to download two browser extensions first, CS Float Market Checker and CS2 Trader. You can easily find these by searching for them online or by using the links in the description. Once once you have them installed, you can search for the skins you want like this StatTrack Minimal Wear MP5 Kit Bash for example, scroll down, sort by lowest float, and when you find one with the float you're looking for, which you can see thanks to CS Float Market Checker, click the Instant Buy button which is now there from the CS2 Trader extension for the speediest purchase. I suggest opening a browser window for each skin you're looking for and occasionally refreshing to see the new listings. Like I said though, this tends to be the least effective method for me. But don't worry if you can't find any of these skins by sniping because this second trade-up is even more buy order friendly. Back on CSROI, we can see that 78.15% of both the Galil connections and the MP5 Kit bashes will have an average float of 0.0933. The kit bash is a bit cheaper though, so let's use that for our calculations. The current buy order price for kit bashes is $1.54. Similar to the foresight from the last trade up, it would take 13 buy orders on average to get 10 usable kit bashes, meaning we'd have to sell back three. The current market price for MP5 kit bashes is $1.63. If we sell back the three bad floats at that price, we would be left with $1.42 each after steam fees, and since we got them at a buy order price of $1.00, 
54 cents, that would be a 12 cent loss per bad float, or an average loss of 36 cents per complete trade up. So if we update the numbers on trade ups by by adding an extra 36 cents to the cost, that makes this trade up cost $15.76 total, and it now has a profitability of 111.29% after steam fees, still with a 100% chance to profit each time. The Stat Trek Factory new Glock 18 Vogue is still the best outcome at $4.35 of profit. Now, before I show you the insane third method, let's do some of these trade ups. All right, boys, we have the second set of trade ups locked and loaded. We have around $30 in the balance right now, and I hope it goes up. I didn't tell you guys yet, but I think at the end of this video, I'm going to give away the knife that we get. So stick around to see what it is. First trade up of the second set. What's it going to be? Three, two, one, boom. Oh, that's good, but that's not the best. It's okay though. We will take it. I'm going to spam a bunch of these out. Pray for some Glock Vogues. Let's go. There's our first one. Back to back Glock Vogues. Let's go. Another one. We're just about halfway through. What's it going to be? Let's go, another Vogue. Yes! Last trade up for these guys. Can we see one final Vogue? Three, two, one, boom! Ah. Uh. It's all right. It's all right. We will take it. That was a lot of good profit. The third method for finding low flow trade up inputs is sniping skins on third party marketplaces. I'm not going to lie. This method has been a lifesaver for me in the past, and I recently found an insanely helpful website that makes the whole process a bit easier. Before I show you exactly how to do it, let me show you today's third trade up. This trade up consists of 10 stat track minimal wear restricted skins from the kilowatt case below a 0.1 average float. This trade up costs around $45 total and has a 110.56% profitability after steam fees with a 67% chance to profit each time. The StatTrack Factory new M401S Black Lotus is the best outcome at around $26.30 of profit. Okay, so in the past, if you wanted to find skins with specific floats on different marketplaces, you would have to search for them on each website individually. That's where this insane trade-up tool that I recently found comes in handy. On the website Trade-Up King, which I'll leave a link to in the description, they recently released a sniper bot which allows you to search for any skin in the game on a multitude of large marketplaces at once. To get there, all you have to do is go to tradeupking.com and from the home page simply click the sniper tab at the top of the screen. From here, if you'd like, you can directly search for the name of the skin you're looking for, but I personally find it way easier to utilize the search filter tab. For this trade up, I'll simply set it to the kilowatt collection, select restricted and minimal wear, and then check off the stat track box. Then simply close the filter tab and select any of the skins you want. In here, you can set the exact float range you're curious about and then click snipe. The bot will then automatically search Skin Baron, GamerPay, and DMarket, three of the largest marketplaces out there, for every skin in your selected float range. If it finds anything, it then provides you with a direct link to the listing page of those skins, which you can access by clicking right here. If you find any of the skins you're looking for at a decent price, simply buy them. Then you can repeat this process with the rest of the skins in the collection you care about and snipe anything that works for your trade-up. Again, don't worry if you're not able to find that many skins from sniping because this next trade up is the absolute best one yet for buy orders. If we head back over to CSROI and check out the percentages of restricted skins from the kilowatt case with an average float of 0.1, we can see that the block 18 is the best at 96.37% and the analog input is a close second at 94.3%. Based on what I said so far, you'd think I'd suggest to set buy orders on the block 18, but if we take a look at their prices on Steam, we can see that the block 18 buy order price is $1.12 more than the analog input, which is a significant amount. If we used block 18s here, it would make this trade up no longer profitable, and the percent difference of usable skins we should get from analog inputs is so similar to the block 18 that we can just use them instead. So the current buy order price for analog inputs is $4.48. Since about 94% of them should have usable floats, then it would take 11 buy orders on average to get 10 usable analog inputs, meaning we'd have to sell one back. The current market price for analog inputs is $4.51. If we sell back the singular bad float at that price, 
price, we would be left with $3.93 after Steam fees. And since we got it at a buy order price of $4.48, that would only be a 55 cent loss. So if we update the numbers on Trade Up Spy by adding an extra 55 cents to the cost, that makes this trade up cost $45.35 total, and it now has a profitability of 109.22% after Steam fees, with a 67% chance to profit each time. The Stat Track Factory new M4A1S Black Lotus is still the best outcome at $25.82 of profit. Now, let's get that knife. Alright boys, things are going great thus far. We're sitting at over $60 in the balance, but this final trade up is the riskiest of them all. Show us the M4A1S Black Lotus, please, right here. Three, two, one, boom! Let's go, baby! First trade up of the last ones! That's exactly what we needed to see. Let's go! Come on! All right, boys, we are not skipping any of these bad boys. We don't have too many of this final contract, so we need to hit big. Show us back-to-back -back M4A1Ss, please. It will get us into that price range of getting a knife already. Show it to me. Three, two, one, boom! Let's go! Let's go! We actually hit back to back! Let's go! Black Lotus is on the first two trade ups. That's insane, dude! Let's go! Oh, we couldn't have asked for anything better. You know what? I could easily get us a $115 knife right now, but we have a few more of these trade ups left, and I'm gonna risk it. Trade up number three. Can we please see back to back to back A1Ss? That would be insane. Please. Three. Two, one, boom! Oh, that's not what we wanted. That is not what we wanted. What's it gonna be on this one, boys? We need to see an A1S. Show us the A1S right here. In three, two, one, boom! Oh, that's okay. That's still profit. We'll take that any day. That is way better than a jawbreaker. Gaben, please, for the sake of the people, show us an M4A1S so I can get them an insane knife. Boys, pray with me. M4A1S in three, two, one, boom! Let's go! Let's go! We actually hit it! We actually hit it! I was getting scared after we hit that jawbreaker, but we're good! We're so good! Let's go, boys! Let's go! That's insane! That's exactly what we needed to see. We're getting real risky now, but can we do it again? Show us another A1S. Three, two, one, boom! Ah! Oh, it's okay though. It's still a Zeus. As long as we're not seeing Jawbreakers, it's okay. Come on. Second to last trade up. Gaben, you need to bless us here. Get the boys an insane knife, please. Three, two, one, boom! Oh my god, we actually hit another one. We actually hit another one. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, we're sitting so pretty right now. I think we're at over $150 in the balance now. Let's go. That's exactly what we needed to see. Boys, you are getting blessed with a crazy knife today. Let's go. And you know what? We have one more of these to go. What will the final trade-up bring us? No matter what, this is the final trade-up of the video. If we miss, you guys get a 140-ish dollar knife from the Steam market. If we hit, you get a 180 dollar knife for this week's giveaway this has been a crazy journey thank you guys for being here but gaben we need you on our side right now three two one show us the m4a1s now let's go oh my god oh my god what a way to end it that's insane let's go what absolutely insane luck boys that was absolutely insane we hit Five of eight M4A1Ss. That is absolutely destroying the odds. Oh, I, I, I can't even believe it. I'm actually at a loss for words. What a crazy journey. I'm going to go sell this final M4A1S and get you guys that knife for this week's giveaway. All right, boys, I'm back. Everything sold and the pending balance just got cleared. After all was said and done, we had around $183 in the balance. I was looking for a knife and nothing in that price range really spoke to me. Honestly, most of the stuff was kind of ugly. So I thought to myself, you know what? I had some extra money in my wallet beforehand anyway. Why not just splurge it on you guys for this giveaway? So I'm going to go a little higher and go for this gut knife autotronic in field tested condition right here. This thing is amazing. I've always loved the gut knife autotronic. It looks sick in my opinion. It's honestly probably my favorite gut knife in the game aside from maybe the vanilla, but this thing is beautiful and I'm going to buy it right now. Boom. 
Now, let's take a look at it in game. All right, boys, without any further ado, you can see we have the new item right here. Let's see it. Bang, let's go. Got knife autotronic all the way from nothing. I'm gonna quickly hop into an inspect server and show this thing off. All right, boys, after all was said and done, here it is, a thing of beauty. And as promised, I'm gonna give it away right now. So if you'd like to enter, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment letting me know what your favorite knife in the entire game is. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this video helped you. And if you still have some questions, stay tuned because I have a couple more tips for you. With all of that being said, you should now be able to get yourself a free knife. Before I go, here are a few more helpful tips. If you're still somewhat lost after seeing this video and you want an even more in-depth explanation about all of the math behind the scenes and exactly how trade-ups work, I'd highly recommend checking out the video on screen now. There should be a card in the top right corner of your screen that you can click on to get there. That video is an hour long guide explaining everything you'll ever need to know about profitable CS2 trade-ups and it's easily the best video I've ever created. Also, depending on when you're watching this video, there's a chance that the trade-ups I showed today are outdated. Don't worry though because that video will teach you how to find and create your own profitable trade-ups that you can use to replicate this video. Next, if you're a bit more experienced with trade-ups but you're in need of an amazing trade-up calculator and a place where you can find profitable trade-up suggestions, I highly suggest checking checking out Trade Up Spy. On top of the best trade up calculator out there, if you buy the premium membership, you will also always have access to eight different profitable trade up suggestions at a time. The website with the sniper bot that I mentioned earlier called Trade Up King is another great option for trade up suggestions. The free version of Trade Up King provides you with five trade up suggestions, but what's even more insane is that the premium version provides you with 20 more suggestions and it's only $5 a month. If you utilize it properly, you can easily make that money back with profitable trade ups. I'll leave the links to everything that I just mentioned in the description. Thanks for watching and good luck getting yourself a free knife. If you enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you'll like this one too. Oh yeah, and YouTube told me 75% of you aren't subscribed yet, so go thumb wrestle that subscribe button down below.